Mr. Speaker, um, as you may be well aware, yesterday you had an occasion to raise some concerns about our approach in terms of language use. I must say that when sitting came to a close, uh, my respected colleague Emmanuel Amakofibo and I met. We had a fruitful discussion regarding the matters in issue. And I think uh, we resolved that things would get far, far better and better and better uh, henceforth. And I believe that the mutual respect that exists between the two of us, proud to he uh, getting his elevation, will remain. Of course, we also realize that both of us were misconstruing uh, certain matters because of some other external uh, matters out there unbeknown to us. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, I want to assure you and assure the House that as far as uh, I am concerned, any time I get on my feet, it is for the good of the politics of this House. However, I've taken his concerns on board, and that will guide the approach. So, Mr. Speaker, these are the words I have for you. Uh, for anything that he might have said, uh, touching on my ego character or whatever it is, I have forgiven him, and I have let go. We've discussed that, and uh, we've taken water of it, over it. We didn't take beer or wine. I'm sure after after the Lent, uh, we would uh, have a go at uh, a bottle of uh, Coke. Just because the truth is that I have allergies, so Coke is something that I can entertain, not uh, beer. Minor majority leaders looking at my face. Just because, because he knows we are partners. Don't in. bring in majority leaders. Just because he wants to talk about you and... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, that was on a lighter note. Yes. So, thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, may we hear from the for the wise council yesterday. Indeed, I met the uh, respected Honorable Fenyo Maki yesterday. We agreed that we are in uh, here because of the people's business. We can only work together to make sure that we achieve is very important work that has been given to us. And what is required is trust and professionalism. And um, I assured him, as our leader did from the first day, our intention here is to make sure we work, not to obstruct government business, but to make sure we can work together uh, for the people of Ghana. And it is in that spirit that we are going to work. I also uh, told him that, you know, we are in the Lent period, and uh, if there are things that are said that were offensive, I have uh, things he said that are offensive, I'm forgiving him. <laughs> in fact, and I have, and we move forward together. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.